You like this? I feel like a very wealthy ice cream salesman. I got this at Sears. It's a Sears sucker suit. I figured, what the hell, I had the coupon. For a penny, I got another three suits just like it. I asked a sales lady for washing instructions. She said they don't last that long. <laughs> my name is uh, Steve Middleman. Uh, my whole life, people call me Middleman. Even my parents call me Middleman. In fact, when I was born, my father went to the hospital. At the maternity ward, the nurse said, you mean Middleman? <laughs> and there I was, wearing this suit. <laughs> I uh, come from New York City. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for your support. <laughs> Little impression there. Thank you. Uh, come from a middle class Jewish family. What a guess, huh? <laughs> we were taught we go to heaven or hell depending on whether or not we show a profit. <laughs> We didn't celebrate Christmas, we celebrated tax season. <laughs> Every year on April, my father would take me to sit on an accountant's lap and I'd ask for deductions. <laughs> Everything was business with my father. See this watch? He gave me this watch for staying with the family for 20 years. <laughs> then he left. <laughs> well, we merged with another family. <laughs> We never had any modern conveniences growing up. Every night during supper, I'd say, Hey, Dad, anything good on the Etch-A-Sketch tonight? <laughs> the verticals busted? <laughs> Shake last night's show? <laughs> Thank you, both of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, my mother's got a new hobby now. She rewaxes Dixie cups. <laughs> I, uh, I did go to Hebrew school. I went to a very strict Hebrew school. We had nuns. <laughs> Our Lady of the Finkelsteins. <laughs> For confession, we had to say five Hail Sylvias. <laughs> they taught us what makes kosher meats kosher. They make the animals feel so guilty they die. <laughs> Cows go, shoot me already. <laughs> I forgot your birthday. Hey, I'm a cow. <laughs> Bust my chops. Have some milk on the house, okay? <laughs> like most Jewish men, my main goal is to be mistaken for Italian. <laughs> Sinatra and I are like this. We're mistaken all the time. People come over to Frank and say, Middleman? <laughs> Last week, a lady came over to me. She said, you're Frank Sinatra. I said, lady, please. As I live and breathe, Frank Sinatra. I said, lady, come on. I'm not Sinatra. My whole life, Frank. I wanted to meet you, rip off your shirt, caress your chest, pull down your pants, bite your thighs. I said, Scooby-Dooby-Doo. <laughs> She said, Middleman? <laughs> you thought that was it, didn't you? <laughs> My brother-in-law is Italian, Vinny. He's got a very Italian name, Vinny, A-E-I-O-U-O. -E <laughs> sometimes why. It's a tough guy, owns a funeral home. He knows who's coming in a week in advance. <laughs> He's a macho guy. I got macho once. I shaved my head. I looked like a giant thumb. <laughs> Cars would stop. I thought I was hitching. <laughs> I went cross country. I didn't even want to go. <laughs> Italians eat like nobody's business. I went to Vinny's mother's house Christmas Day. She comes out of the kitchen, nine in the morning, carrying a pig with a ham in its mouth. <laughs> Inside the ham is another pig.
You want to run around, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Jews eat a lot of Italian food. Italians do not eat a lot of Jewish food. You never hear old Italian grandmothers go, Vito Blintzes? <laughs> Italians eat a lot of those vowel foods. <laughs> Manicotti, lasagna. Jews, uh, honestly, do not use a lot of vowels in their words and names. Sometimes you hear Jewish names like... <sighs> <laughs> In a restaurant, you hear for two. Uh, honey, uh, I don't feel like eating here. Anymore. Eighteen couples show up. You call us. Something wrong with the sound system? For two. My rabbi's name was like something like Moses Stein. He changed it to. He thought Stein sounded too Jewish. By the way, for those of you that don't know it, a rabbi is a Jewish word that means dull speaker. <laughs> you know you're in for a nap when a rabbi says, I'm reminded of a story. <laughs> Usually something exciting like, today we discuss the invention of dirt part one. <laughs> I remember uh, my rabbi's speech to me at my bar mitzvah. I almost nodded out during the speech. He was like, Today, Stephen, is a very special day in your life. Today is a day of days, <laughs> which will re re be remembered as, of course, today. <laughs> Not yesterday, or tomorrow, or the day before yesterday which would be, in fact, two days from today, <laughs> but today. I said, Rabbi, can I cash these bar mitzvah bonds today? <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. Steve Edelman, come up behind you. Hey, very you? good, very Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Nice people. Aren't good. they good? Yeah. Good. Good people. They all flew in. Just to see you. They yeah. said Sinatra? I said, no, middleman. So, you know what you do, and it's, it's nice to see you work, because you see different styles with comedians, and I'm wondering how, how you came about it. You let the joke work. You say the joke, and you stand there, and you look. Could be a half hour or more. <laughs> <laughs>